today we are going to be talking about betta fish. Bettas have been more popular over the years. They have a lot of awesome colors and fun types to choose from, and they are a great fish for beginners as they are not too hard to care for. Bettas are native to these places. I'm not too sure how to pronounce all of them, but I'm going to try my best. Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Maliasa, and Indonesia where the water is usually flowing slowly and the water temperature is around 76 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. They live in shallow pools, small streams, roadside ditches, and even rice paddies. The water is sluggish. As a result, nature has given them the ability to breathe air at the surface using a labyrinth organ, making it possible for them to live in small aquariums without circulation. It's best if you try to mimic their natural habitat. So let's first take a look at the size of the betta, and that's what attracts people the most is the long flowing fins and their beautiful coloration, and they don't get that big. Both male and females would get around 3 inches. They both have incredible coloration, although female fins are usually shorter in length than males. Betta fish need at least a 5 gallon tank. Although they are active fish, it's best if you provide them with a large tank. While bettas do not necessarily need a filter, having one provides them with the optimum water quality. Do a 15 to 20% water change every week to ensure the water is clean. Decorate the tank as natural as possible to mimic their natural habitat. Remember, bettas are jumpers, so make sure you get a lid for the tank. Male bettas are highly territorial towards each other and must be kept separately. They can be kept with other fish peacefully in a community aquarium of 15 gallons or larger. Zebra snails, quarry catfish, neon tetras, Harley Quinn rasboras, feeder guppies, rarely loach, bristle nose pleco, amber tetras, clown plecos, white clown mountain minnows, ghost shrimp, and African dwarf frogs can be all paired with bettas. Avoid putting them with male gouramis fin nippers such as tiger barbs or active fish like giant dinos. For optimum color and growth, feed both betta pellets and or tropical flakes with brine shrimp or freeze dried bloodworms. This will give you betta a variety to eat so they don't get bored of eating the same thing over and over again. These were just the basics, but if you want me to go more in depth of betta fish care, please let me know and I'll be happy to make it. Bye!